Hello fellow Earthlings! Today we are continuing our spooky season journey of interesting makeup looks and today we are going to be doing a pop art comic book style-esque makeup look and I think it's gonna be really interesting. This is one of my favorite looks to do even though I don't do it often. Um, and I, I feel like it's still a learning process for me so it's gonna be a learning process for all of us but I feel like I've kind of started to get the hang of it and I really like playing with the bold lines and the highlights. So I think this is gonna be interesting and I'm not gonna be doing one of those, you know, comic book characters that's crying and yeah, I, I feel like that's really overplayed. So I really just kinda of wanna focus on my already existing features and just kind of play off of what I can to make myself look very comic book-esque. So let's start with our eyebrows. Our eyebrows we are going to be coloring black. Um, they're going to look very bold and very bold. <laughs> so we're going to be starting with our black liquid liner because I feel like this is going to be better for kind of getting, you know, precise hair lines um, as well as just kind of making a nice outline for the whole eyebrow. So we're going to start by just kind of making some hairlines, if you will, and working it through the brow. So now that our brows are done, you can see what I mean by like, she bold, you know, we, we want them dark, we want them thick, and we're gonna be adding some more detail to them later. This is not the finished product. So once we start adding color to the rest of our face, um, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna be adding more detail, especially when we get to the lips, to the cheekbones, everything. So now we're going to be taking our blue brush, which is not dirty, just stained blue, and we're going to be dipping into our blue color and just kind of starting to put that all over over our lid. So now we're going to go in with a dark blue and we're going to kind of get up here in our crease a little bit. So we really want to darken our crease up here on our eyebrow bone. I said eyebrow a little funny. That's fine. So now I'm going to be grabbing my smudge brush and I'm going to be grabbing this dark purple color and I'm going to start dragging that along my lash line and kind of up into my crease where we started darkening it with the dark blue and I might bring that down below onto my lower lash line as well. So we're going to kind of create like a little bit of a smoky look here and just kind of tie the whole thing together. Oh, I'm sorry. My my lights keep adjusting, so my phone is trying to trying to keep up with everything. So sometimes that might happen during a video. It might just kind of try to focus in on what I'm doing. Hopefully that doesn't happen often, though. You know, honestly. I kind of just like the bold brows and then th this eyeshadow and I feel like I could just stop here <laughs> and I'd, I, I would go out like this honestly. I used to, I went through a whole phase, and let's be honest I'm still kind of going through this phase where bold dark brows were just my thing. I love Cara Delevingne where her, she just has this pale skin and her beautiful blonde hair and then these dark thick brows and I love that look and I have wanted that look so long but I, I don't know I, I I think it's very you know snow white-esque you know where the pale skin and her dark brows and black hair I just it's beautiful it's a beautiful look to me I also went through a snow white phase for a long time where I would do the dark brows and then the red lips and just some mascara 2014 was a wonderful year <laughs> that was <laughs> was a wonderful year but that's when I first started playing with makeup 2014 is when I really started to come into my makeup um, exploration you know I throughout high school because I graduated in 2014 so throughout high school I didn't really wear a lot of makeup I let my friends play with makeup on my face because I didn't know what I was doing I 
figured I'm just gonna let them do it and whatever. Um, but then 2014, I just decided I want to learn how to do makeup. I was a huge theater nerd, you know, theater was my life, and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna be an actress when I grow up. That's my, that's my life's calling, and I figured, well, if I'm gonna be doing theater, you know, professionally, I probably have to learn how to do my own theater makeup. So I really had to figure it out and I got really into it. I really got into um, SFX makeup, which is special effects makeup. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just something that I love. And don't get me wrong, I would still love to be an actress when I grow up, grow up 24. But, <laughs> um, you know, I just think that makeup is something that I really want to focus on. And I made a career out of it. I, you know, I'm an esthetician now, so skincare and makeup is just what I do. So it's... It's it's been a wild ride and I'm I'm really happy about where I'm going and where I'm going to continue to push for. So Anyway, that's enough about me. Let's get back to our makeup look. <laughs> so No, I really I could go out like this. I love this. Do I want to stop here? No, I don't want to stop here. We're going to we're going to go. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, now that we have our um our eyeshadow done we're going to do some contour so I'm just kind of kind of darken some things up and we are we're gonna go in with the dark liner and we're going to you know really contour everything else but I want to completely put all of the color on my face before we start drawing lines so I will be right back I'm going to do my contour probably put some lipstick on and then when we come back we're going to start working with our lines and our shadows or our highlights so this is kind of where things ended up. I did my eyeliner and my lipstick and I did some contouring. Um, so now we're gonna go and we're going to start finishing up all the lines. I have to tell you, I really had to consider, do I want to actually do the comic book um, character? Or do I wanna stop here and edit out where I said, I'm gonna make this pop art and just call this a look? Cause honestly, I really, I'm living for this, um, but I'm gonna continue on with the whole pop art thing. And at this point is when you want to decide, am I going to just do lines of dark eyeliner and some highlights? Or do I wanna add all those bullshit little dots to my face? And I'm not gonna do that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up pop art makeup looks and everyone puts those little bullshit dots all over their face. And that's so time consuming. You don't need to do all that to get a point the cross of, this is pop art. I'm a comic book character. Like, if you can save yourself the time, do it. If you want to go in and you want to do all the dots, more power to you. I'm not spending 30 minutes placing dots on my face. So, we're just going to be doing the lines. So, I'm going to start with my lips. You're going to want to outline your lips with the black liner. Um, and you want to try to get as close as you can to your lipstick because if you go outside of the line you're going to have to put more lipstick on and then if you go over the black line it's just a mess so you want to be very very careful so we're gonna start putting the line around our lips So now that I'm done outlining my lips, I also added a couple lines on the inside just to kind of give it that more drawn on look. Um, we'll add the highlights at the very end. So I want to go in and I want to do all of my bold lines first and then go in with all my highlights. So now I'm going to do my nose. At this point, I want to figure out which side of my face is going to be my dominant side of my face. So this is where you really want to know your angles. For me, it's more about which side my eyeliner came out better on, which is normally this side. So I'm going to go into my eyebrows and this is when you start adding detail to the eyebrows and then to the nose. So we're going to add one line down our nose, lines on the outside right here. So you're gonna wanna trace around your nose. So just like this. 
You want to get in the crease and just whoop right around the nose. See? Just one simple line. And then now you're going to go down the center of your nose. Down the peak. That came out a little crooked, but that's fine because from this side it's perfect. This side not so much, which is why this is going to be my dominant side. Wow, that came out very crooked. <laughs> and I might darken that up a little bit later, um, but for right now it looks fine. So this is when I add kind of like a little expression line on the outside of my eyebrow. And if you're trying to make this, you know, uh, a very symmetrical look, you can. But for me, I'm going to just be taking pictures of this. So this is just more of like, which side am I going to be posing from? So since that's this side, I really want to play to more of my effects on this side. So it's going to be kind of like my, it, it's going to help you figure out where you're going to put your highlights is what I'm trying to say. Now we're going to go in onto our cheekbone and we're going to just kind of Follow your cheekbone pattern just very so slightly and you want to make sure that you really set all this because you don't want your hair or anything to my, my sideburns you can see that I'm gonna add that out Oosh. just kidding we all know I'm wearing a wig and if you didn't surprise oh what am I? My cheekbones are not on the same level ever. So we're just gonna ignore that side. I'm just gonna keep playing to this side. And I'm gonna add like a little bit of, of shading. And then I also want to go in and draw on my jawline. Go in and I'll darken that in a little bit. This is just kind of all of your like where everything is going to be centered and then we're going to go in and we're going to add more detail and everything and we're going to really darken things up. But you just want to set the playing field of this is where I'm putting all of my detail and this is where I want all of my shadows to be. So now that we've drawn on our jawline, we're going to start adding some of our highlights. So I want to start highlighting my lips and things. So you want to make sure you know where your light source is coming. So for me, my light source is going to be this way. So I really want to play with my shadows. So as you can see, that's why I added these lines here because that's where my shadows are going. My shadows are going down this way and you have to really center where your highlights are going to be. So if you know anything about drawing, um, animating, anything, this would be right up your alley. So this is when I'm going to start using my white liquid liner. I'm just going to kind of mix that up a little bit. It's been a little while since I've used my white liner. So I'm going to start by highlighting my lips. Oh yeah, see, once you start adding those highlights, it really starts to look drawn on, and that's my favorite. It's, it, I love watching this look really transform into a very drawn-on look. I mean, I, it's my favorite. I love illusionist type of makeup. So now I'm going to start adding a little bit of highlight right here. I just realized that I did not put my microphone back in, so let me do that really quick. I'm so sorry if the audio has been awful this whole time. Okay, so hopefully that's better. I'm so sorry about that. I, I, I took off my, my microphone to charge my phone and I completely forgot to just plug that back in. My bad. <laughs> 
So now we've kind of started putting all of our highlights down um, and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add more highlights everywhere too, but this is when I wanna start darkening up all of my lines. So we're gonna need a black eyeshadow as well as our black pencil, our black eyeliner pencil. And we're gonna go in and if you have a eyeliner brush, this would be the perfect time to whip that bad boy out. So let me get mine out. Okay, yes, so we have our small eyeliner brush and we're going to be dipping into our black eyeshadow. <laughs> we're not using eyeliner, we're using eyeshadow. So we're gonna be dipping into our black eyeshadow with our small eyeliner brush. <laughs> so we're going to be grabbing into that and then now you see these lines that we drew, we're gonna just kind of start shadowing those in. Really adding some definition and dimension to them. Kind of smudge them out. So since I'm starting to do some of the shadow on my neck here, I'm actually gonna grab a paddle brush and I'm going to dip that into the black eyeliner and I'm going to kind of start coloring in on my neck. So we're gonna start playing with these shadows and kind of make it look like this isn't even there. I'm not sure if you, you know, when you read comic books and sometimes you look at them, half of their neck is just all black. It's just, it's just playing to the shadows. So I'm going to start coloring all this black with the black eyeshadow that I have and continue. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, I really went in with uh, with the shadowing, but um, I'm into it, so. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm into it, ooh. I kinda carved out my, my chin a little bit. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> before I get a little too carried away with the rest of myself, you know, I actually, I might block out the rest of my nose. No, I'm not gonna get carried away. Um, so, I feel like I definitely need more lines on my face here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start shadowing a little bit and start boldening things. Um, and just kinda keep playing, you know? I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of... So at this point, you really just want to keep playing with some shadows and everything and where your highlights are going to be. I might add a couple more things, but I'm going to go pop on my lashes really quick and just kind of go from there. And then we'll come back and we'll see what the finished look looks like. So this is the finished look and basically what I did was I darkened and boldened all of my lines as well as my highlights and I also added some lines to represent some eyelashes. I darkened everything. I also outlined my nostrils just to kind of make them look a little bit darker. So this is the finished look and honestly I'm living for it. I think I would have probably not contoured just to make my face look a little bit more pale and maybe gone a couple shades lighter, you know, maybe just completely clown white with my, my foundation. But other than that, I think it came out really well. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at misskitty.k. Um, that's also where you can find all of the products that I will be using, and I will also link them down in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.